All right. So here I'm supposed to talk about my web development experience. Uh, I would say I'd always been a very avid web developer. Uh, starting early back, I was very interested in single page web apps, uh, learning things like backbone.js um, and Angular, and then of course working into React. Um, those have all been very passionate projects and passionate areas for me to do self-learning as well as try to apply that to whatever professional job that I've been working in. Uh, I'd say that JavaScript is probably one of my strongest suits. Um, and what I've really liked about it is just the community and the ability to um, use package packages that are out there, fix packages uh, relatively easily, and also create your own packages. Um, one thing I've noticed throughout the evolution of, uh, I guess, React and sort of single page web apps is um, the use of frameworks. I remember create a React app coming out and I found that to be a great experience just to learn about React. But uh, what I definitely wanted to learn more about was um, sort of the inner workings behind it and the framework behind it. Uh, and so what I pursued and you know really found a passion in learning is um, building the framework yourself and using things like Webpack and serving the application itself using Node. Um, and so what I've done and what I've historically done is used um, sort of my own package or my own framework. Uh, I know things like Next.js are very popular these days and they, they solve some really nice problems, especially when it comes to you know using React Router, which sometimes can be a little bit hairy, especially in the early versions. Um, but what I liked uh, learning is, um, you know, really learning how you can uh, use some of the more modern, uh, I guess, dialects of ECMAScript. Um, and, you know, especially since um, browsers didn't support that you know, three, four or five years ago, um, using things like Babel and Webpack to uh, transform your JSX code and make it um, a compiled version that can be served through uh, a node app um, and of course setting up react router to um, not just handle client-side routing but also server-side rendering um, so this is one project that um, needs a little updating um, but i found that it's you know a great template to work with uh, no matter what demo or no project that i begin working with uh, and I'm actually in the workings of updating this to use um, basically the most modern packages that are available today uh, and still try to shy away from the um, whole Next.js movement and sort of the way Vercel has put sort of a stamp and monopoly on that particular open source project. Uh, so any questions, uh, feel free to reach out, but uh, web development is definitely one of my strong suits. Uh, one other side note that I like is Iceland development. Um, and I found that um, the, uh, the use of Flutter, which is a project that Google uh, made, has been really interesting to follow. Um, and they have Flutter for web now too. Uh, and I think that's a really fun framework to work with. Uh, so thanks.